the val it, of course, it's Valentine's Day, but February 14th is notable for another reason. It marks National Donor Day. Thousands of Americans are waiting on the gift of life, including patients at Riley Hospital for Children. WRTV's Nikki Dementri introduces us to one of those patients tonight on the News at 6. On floor three west at Riley Hospital for Children. The waiting, I mean, it's tough because I'm away from the family. Jeff Tabor waits. <laughs> When I first started staying here and knew that it was going to be a long stay, you know, I was told by multiple people, this, this is your room, make it your, make it your home. Home for Tabor really is Bloomington, but home for now is room 3125. Tabor went on the heart transplant list in March of 2020. It was right before COVID started. While at Riley for the past month, he puts together Lego sets to pass the time. And I have them set out over by the window so other patients can walk by and see them. But unlike other patients on the floor, Tabor is an adult. I'm 43. Actually a father of eight, husband of nearly 17 years, and a chef by trade. Because I was born with a congenital heart disease um, defect and um, I've been treated here through all my childhood. Congenital heart defect, or CHD, is the most common birth defect in the United States. Tabor underwent several major surgeries, all with Riley, while he was under 18 years old. I was stable and able to pretty much live a normal childhood. I was able to play sports and as long as I knew my own limits. Advancements in the field mean CHD patients are living longer, like Tabor. So when the need for a heart transplant arises, it also means specialized care is needed. If you need the expertise of a congenital heart surgeon, they're all trained to take care of adults all through their training, but they focus on mostly kids. IU Health houses one of the largest adult congenital heart defect programs in the Midwest. Tabor is a part of the program through Riley. I think it's amazing that we're able to do this, and it's only because we have such a dedicated team here. A heart could come in the matter of hours, days, or months, but regardless of when it comes, Tabor says he's looking towards his faith to carry him through. When the time happens, praying for the families and praying for all those involved and being really thankful that this is you know, for this gift. In Indianapolis, Nikki Dementri, WRTV. And tonight at 6, we have more details. A Tabor's transplant and recovery will happen at Riley, but afterwards, his follow-up care will transfer over to IU Health Methodist. Since 2007, the heart transplant team at Riley and Methodist, they've worked together on 17 heart transplants in adult patients.